Hello everybody, I am Seamaster and I am here for a reaction. <clears throat> closer. Anyway, <clears throat> I am here for a reaction to Honest Trailers Batman Begins. Budge! Damn it. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, this is by Screen Junkies. Batman Begins, and I cannot wait to see what they're going to say. No matter how much we love Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, there is also a lot of faults to it. So, let's begin. Let's go. After Joel oh, Schumacher God. made Batman silly, oh, no. never leave oh. the cave without him. But before Zack Snyder made him a joke, why did you say that, Dad? Chris Nolan made a movie that got the Dark Knight just right. Where are you? Here. Batman Begins. See one of the best, yet oddly not that successful Batman films that was so good, it allowed Christopher Nolan to do whatever he wanted afterwards, except distance himself from the franchise. In this perfectly told superhero origin story, back when we weren't sick of superhero origin stories, that realistically explains how a boy became a crime-fighting bat ninja instead of a trust fund kid with a deep-seated fear of Wells. I mean, had to be even odds he'd become Well Man, right? Experience a feature-length attempt to ground Batman in reality, where the Batmobile was just a bridge-building rocket car Wayne Tech had laying around. The Batcave was simply part of New York's Underground Railroad. Your great-great-grandfather was involved in the Underground Railroad. And the bat shoes that summon a giant cloud of angry bats are, um, total BS. But who cares? How cool is this? Follow along on every BS? step of Bruce Wayne's heroic journey. From cosplaying as a hobo, to stealing food, to blowing up a school. And witness his brutal training at the hands of the Liam of Neeson's, I mean the League of Shadows. A group with a sinister plan to stop crime by using a microwave gun to vaporize their special fear juice to kick off the purge. Good Wait, what? I thought this was supposed to be the realistic one. That sounds like something Adam West would go up against. It's a sad pill <laughs> to neutralize the laughing gas. <laughs> but the League of Shadows aren't the only criminals plaguing Gotham. There's also Batman, who, if you think about it, is a violent criminal who answers to no one, waging a one-man war on the law itself. Sorry, still counts as murder if you make a train do it. Joining this loner on his one-man quest for justice are a lot of other people. Like Alfred, a butler so loyal, he'll drag Batman's sedated girlfriend into the back of a car, no questions asked. This will be worse for wear, I'm afraid. Lucius Fox, a man who might be helping Bruce to be a better serial killer for all he knows. If you don't want to tell me exactly what you're doing, <laughs> I don't have to lie. Gordon, a cop with the morals, glasses, and mustache of Ned Flanders. Rachel Dawes, a childhood friend with a mysterious past of drinking condensed milk. Alfred still keeps the condensed milk on the top shelf. And, holy sh is that King Joffrey? That is him. Why are you giving him military hardware? Take him out before it's too late. So strap in with a movie that saved Batman from puns and irrelevance. Let's oh. get some with the right mix of gritty realism and comic book theatricality that's a perfectly focused, character-driven story, except for the whole third act. If they get their machine into Wayne Station, it'll cause a chain reaction that'll vaporize the entire city's water supply. And the fact that half the dialogue is cutesy repetitions of things someone said earlier. It's a bit technical, but the, the key thing, thing is, is that my company's future is secure. It's not it's who not I am, but me. But what I do, do it defines me. Never did it. Oh, Didn't you get the memo? Shut up! Ah, no wonder this movie's so good. They only had to write half a script. Starring Derelict, Gotham Abbey, Roz Actually, 
Rachel Dawson's Creek, <laughs> Serious Blue. If I only played Bruce Wayne, Ken want to not be wasted in this movie, but he is. And what does the fox say? A ring a ding ding, a ring a ding ding. How Bruce Wayne got his groove back. The League of Shadows has been a check against human corruption for thousands of years. We I love that part. That's my favorite part in the movie right here. Burned London to the ground. Cancelled Firefly. Made Crash one best picture. Discovered Justin Bieber. Made Harambe a meme. It's time to embarrass the Dark Knight. Worse than Joel Schumacher did. Batman, you're a cunning strategist and a master of theatricality. But I found your one hidden weakness. Getting the beaten out of you. <laughs> the Screen Junkies Roast of Batman. Watch now. Go away! Holy Scorched Earth, if you'd like to watch the roast of Batman, click the box in the left to see the Cape Crusaders' greatest foes get a rise out of the Dark Knight, who always pays their taxes, not Batman. The Wick has wicked the last of the Wicked Witches and Wolves. What is happening in the happening? That's number wang. Strahishes, Strahol Shetelshen. Okay, well... I love. I actually do love Batman Begins. Um, I like Batman Begins better than Dark Knight Rises. Of course, Dark Knight is just awesome because I love the Joker. Now, okay. Uh, and also, I love um, uh, Cillian Murphy. Is that his name? Cillian Murphy, uh, who plays as Scarecrow. I love him. Um, actually, I really want him back to play as Scarecrow in the Ben Affleck movies. But anyway, um, I don't know, they, uh, I wouldn't say that that's my dog scratching in the back. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I wouldn't necessarily this is their best because they're pretty much stating the obvious and, um, well, I mean, I don't know, it's like, uh, what, what was it, uh, vigilanteism, I mean, those was like when they like start saying like breaking and entering. I mean, like, no shit, you know? Oh, stop it, dog. You want to go out? I'll let them in. But anyway, um, um, yeah, I wouldn't say this is their best because there's some things that I disagree with what they just said. But, um, oh my god. Especially with the Ben Affleck um, part where they, <clears throat> or just Zack Snyder, the, um, the Zack, the Zack Snyder part when they said that they made Batman a joke. I disagree on that. I, don't, I disagree on that. I really do. Um, Zack Snyder's ba uh, Batman is a total badass. And I cannot wait for Ben Affleck's Batman movie to prove him wrong. And, and also, I cannot wait for the Justice League movie that's coming out this year to prove people wrong. Zack Snyder's Batman is really good. He's more developed. He's not a... He's more developed than... Um, than... Um, Christian Bale's Batman. He has more history than Christian Bale's Batman. He he's he has a lot more experience than Christian Bale's Batman. He's not a joke. He's not a wuss. He's not. You're talking to a guy who witnessed his parents die at a very young age. You don't think that's gonna have any psychological effect on him? People gotta think more deeper than just, you know, just plain, like, oh, here's the, um, here's just the surface, alright? No, 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 it goes a lot deeper. It goes a lot to the mind, you know? Yeah, when you mention Martha, I mean, the Martha, the Martha scene, I agree, could have been done a little better and a little differently, but it's still a moment, um... Is still something that means a lot to Batman, especially with the name Martha, because his mother's name was Martha. And yes, I know other other moms are names Martha and everything, but that's not the reason why um, Batman decided to go and save Martha because uh, he um, the thing is that he wanted to save Superman's mother. Um, it's a little bit like, uh, I don't know what, how you call it, um, my dog keeps entering the freaking door, 
Get out! Jeez, enjoy the... It's actually warm outside. Anyway, it's more like uh, something that you do that you couldn't do before. And it's like, oh, I think you have to say closure? I don't know. Maybe closure. Because he saves a mother and... Well, and coincidentally, she has Mar the name her, her name is Martha. So to him, it's kind of like closure, I guess, in his mind that, yes, he saved a mother that's named Martha because he couldn't save his mother, who was named Martha. So that being said, I don't know if I said it correctly, but I'm trying to get something. I don't know if I said it correctly, but it does make sense when you think in a more deeper level than just, oh, here's a surface. And that makes Batman look like a joke. It's not. This Batman, especially Ben Affleck's Batman, is awesome. And I can't wait to see more of him. But anyway, enough with the mumble-jumble, deepness, psychological things going on that I just said. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is my reaction to the honest trailer, Batman Begins. And I'm going to let my dogs in before they bust down the door. So, yes, hope you guys like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. And I'll see you guys in the future. Alright, bye.